Hey Yamaha T-Dub Club, take a lap with me in the Wildemar OHV Park on the TW200 right here in Southern California. Let's go see how busy Wildomar is. It's been quite a while since I've actually been out. So hello everyone in the Yamaha TW200 community. I'm finally getting out and it's been too long. I will agree it has been too long but everything is what it is and it is what it is. It is what it is. Alright, I'm not even going to waste the tape. I'm going to get down there and clip you on when we hit the dirt. Alright, coming into the Wildomar OHV Park. Whoop, whoop. can't remember which trails are dead ends or which ones take you all the way through but guess what I'm out here riding that's all that matters it's a very very dry out here Man, you've heard me talk about Wildemar maybe once before. This is maybe my second or third time actually coming here on my T-Dub. I used to come here quite a bit. I actually came here quite a bit teaching my uh, daughters how to ride. So this is like the closest place to my house to hit dirt. It's not always open. But when it is, it's a cool little spot. It's a good little technical training ground. When you gotta get dirt, you just kinda gotta get dirt. And this is some good, uh, good technical training. Showing your toes, that's for sure. Lots of these little ravines and the water bars cut it, or the water 
trenches cut it real good. You can just see the water just eats this place alive. Not that we get a ton of it, but when we get it, it seems to be uh, rather harshish. There's quite a few people in the park. I didn't even go into the main section. I just kind of came in, hit the first lift. And this route here just kind of takes you all around the outside perimeter of the park. Goes all the way into the back. And then you can kind of get into the middle nuggets where most people tend to be. I think half the people out here today are in the full size 4x4 rigs. That's a good place to come get your... Uh, Customized desert pinstriping on. I would say these are uh, pretty much motorcycle UTV trails, but eh, I've been out here in my Land Cruiser a few times, just goofing off. And good little, good little technical trainings. Keep you sharp. Burp, burp, burp. A lot of this is just like a nar nar water bars or water cuts, rain ruts. Come on, man, get with the terminology here. Haven't been out in so long, my tongue's all twisted up. we got a decent little breeze going today because this place does get a wee bit hot and we're to the back corner of the of the park Start working our start working our way across the back now. Yeah, you heard my uh, engine shut off back there. I think my idle is just a scratch bit low, but I'm like, nah. I can reach down and adjust it, but uh, it's just maybe the bare par barometric pressure is uh, a little dry today. Maybe I need to adjust it from the winter setting to the summer setting. <laughs> That's been about how long it's been. It seems like it seems like Nick from Till Death Dula Sport and I were out freezing our butts off the last time we weren't riding, and now. Looks like the summer sesh is in full swing, so pretty soon it'll be big bear weather, mountain weather. Southern California, we go to the mountains in the summer and the desert in the winter. Those are our two seasons. And then I got a couple little in-betweener spots. Just kind of depends on the weather. Sand. Woo! This place kind of has a little bit of everything. I'm a little rusty. 
thirsty. But uh, out here getting it done. Dusting out the cobwebs. I can already tell my butt is like out of shape. Gotta get my my rad and glutus miss maximus back into action. what we counter up here to the toppy top this will be a in and out this way because on the other side over here is just a massively steep drop and I have no uh, no intentions of doing that oh someone up here in a low clearance vehicle scraping the top of the lip all that little powder underneath just sliding it's like throttle modulate don't don't over rip it all it's gonna do is walk sideways on you back side of Willemar is just getting built out Homes, 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 homes. Wifey and I have been seriously considering uh, packing up and moving out of this joint. It's just, I love it here, but at the same time, it's just too many people here. And on top of that, it's just so blooming expensive. And, and there we go. Just me. All right, good deal. the guy at? Let's go see. Oh yeah, there he is. I see you down there, chilling. That's perfect. You sitting, I can do my thing. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're uh, heavily considering uh, bouncing out of this jizzoint. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm like in my 50s now and not working like I used to. Not because I don't want to, just because uh, I think people uh, are like, oh, you're, you're, you're old, you're not uh, up to par. I bet he's scoping it out. So yeah, if I'm not going to have the uh, big paying job like a... Well, it wasn't even a big paying job, but like a good enough job that my wife and I could both, uh, you know, both work and be just a little bit ahead. Right now we're, uh, we're treading water, but the water is moving faster than we can tread. And eventually, it's just going to catch up. So, we've been having those uh, 
critical conversations about what we're gonna do. But I'll keep T-dubbing, keep trying to bring the video action. You guys ask questions and I'll either provide the answers if I don't know the answers. I got three friends. I can I can contact somebody and get answers. Alright. I did the little return route, ain't no sense of taping that twice, so we're continuing our uh, way across the back here. And uh just kinda out cruising this thing. It's a good you can ride this slow, you can ride it fast, but today with so many people back here anything I meet up is going to be bigger than me so uh, I'm just going to cruise it and you know slow speed technical is always the uh, just a good way to A. stay safe B. stay alive C. work on your technicality man look at that divot okay Hard left. Just run the whole perimeter. It's just cool. Look at this little thing. I got trees in the winter time. You got a little creek running through here half the time. Still running through here. Look at that. Nothing like the creeks up there behind the boys at uh, Rugged Radios. I'm like itching to get up there and go ride with them, but I think that uh, it's going to happen. It's just going to take a little bit of planning, and plus my trip there, I think it's going to be like 187 miles, and I'm going to ride there on the T Dub. And then hopefully go do like a moto camp session with them for a night, hang out with them boys, and then uh, I'll probably do another night or so myself after they kind of give me a couple little directions. I kind of know the area I want to go. I just, you know, it's kind of like if you're going to make that trip up there, might as well like meet up with some fellow T dubbers. They're up in the uh, Pismo Beach area. So. Yeah, I'm gonna make that trip. I just gotta get it planned out. I got a couple of little trips under my belt planned, but I still gotta uh, put my rugged radio in and like meet up with Nick. That was kind of the craziest thing. Uh, Nick got his radio. I had mine forever and ever, and I thought I was gonna be moving, so everything kind of got packed, and I couldn't find it. I packed it so well, and then. Uh, right you know this was just kind of like right during that time just pre-covid and then covid hit and everything like kind of just shut down and uh you know the first first weeks there it was like man ain't nobody doing nothing going nowhere nothing nothing and uh so i have it all sitting there ready to go i just need to get on it i know that's a dead end uh but yeah that'll be mine and nick's little social distancing ride together so that goes up to where I went up and turned around at where we just saw the red Jeep and it's just it's just a DG super grooved ugliness good for good for nothing no proven ego but here's the campground right here for Wildemar OHV Park little loop loop so. oh got some campers out here that's cool all right we'll just 
do the full perimeter tour of the park. meets up over here if I'm not mistaken yeah right there <laughs> and this goes into the campground yep so there's the ca campground does have a separate entrance or you can moto to it all right so we'll go back around to the front of the park and this will be like the full perimeter lap the uh, XR100 100s because sort of sort of teaching the daughters on and then when the uh, older daughter quit riding the first one I took it over and adulterized it with you know bigger taller bars taller seat BBR suspension and all the goodies and stuff this was like my little little haven right here Those will catch you out. Take your pick. Take your pick. Pick your line. The hot ticket here is to come super early in the morning. Just be here. Darko 30. And you can have the park till about nine o'clock and that was the ticket when I was bringing my girls because you know I just wanted to have it super mellow come and ride and then by then this was summertime so nine o'clock you know it's it's like the heat is on so you're like all right peace out got to go Just toilet paper roll. I've worked up an appetite already. I'm like hungry again. I didn't have much of breakfast. Oatmeal and then power bar and then it's power bar time again. Alright, so we came in, went across there. That is the last. I don't even know why I didn't have the, the tape on for that little climb, but oh well. I'm just going to creep back around. See, across there, that's the way we came in, around, up, back down, back through, down inside that little wash area. Oh, we'll creep back down into Poison Oak Alley. plant yeah I get bored with places like this real quick and easy but you just like getting your first ride back on and out to knock about King Trail King Snake Trail. Burr. 
Look at that, look at that sand action. What we gonna do? Fall off practically. Eh, I don't need to go through that burr. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I did that very lazily. sand action here, all right. What do you think? Think we should uh, drop over on the other side, run around, and do a lap? Not a lap, but a uh, do a trek over Saddleback. I'll be beat, but it'll be a good, good rip back to the sand. Brr. Momentum is your friend. All right, one more time down through the uh, through the covered trees. We may just dip out of this joint. Yes, we've been through here. I popped off that little ledge last time. Just looking at the different lines, flow winds. Nice little freshwater spring. Might as well get it muddy. Little tanker, dun, dun, dun. little dumper. It's just a maze of little trails all back and forth and on top of one another. And
pretty much uh, over it. That little technical section though. Let's see what we got here. Man, you can see the water been running off of that thing. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna go right up the middle, right through the aim for it. Nothing to it but to do it. Kidney cracker. All these rain ruts. All right, so I went to the to the left that time, so I'll just go this way this time. If uh, some of you follow me from uh, the axial racing days, RC cars, that little spot right there. I can't even remember what rig we filmed right there. Oh, yeah, I think it was the XO. I don't know. But we uh, used both of these little spots right here to shoot some promo video. All right, man. That's it on the Will Demar tip. Good to bring the kids, get them trained up. Good to touch dirt if you get to touch dirt. But I'm out of here because I think we're going to do something else. We'll see. All right. Adios, Wildemar. See you next time. Fun. It was real. Yeah, I did maybe six and a half miles in there. That's all. But you get super bored in there real quick. But this is Wildemar, OHV Park. Right here on the border of... Orange County and Riverside County or take a highway look it up look for it come find it I've been coming here before digital maps and online it was all paper maps I found it off of exploring aka getting lost there's no such thing as lost you're just temporarily displaced you're always on the earth or maybe not all right Ooh, I should go down that way and then get gas down there and cut across. Should I? Is it going to be faster? Yeah, maybe so. Alright. I mean, the gate is open. Why would I not? I'm out here. I'm going to be going in the same direction. This is going to drop me out a little bit over out of the way, but with the his A, it's dirt. Alright. Uh, this is just a uh, little dirt path uh, in Wildemar. And it is genuinely closed majority of the time so it's kind of rather a treat to see this one open and it will literally parallel the back of the uh, Oldemar OHV park like that's the park right there I can look down into it and you can see like well you can't but I can barely catch little glimpses of the top of the trail right here I'm moving too fast but you get the idea. So it's it's kind of getting late in the afternoon, so I might be getting home in the dark here. It's warm. But the mountain might be cool. I thought about it halfway here. I didn't bring my little 
511 tactical windbreaker like I should have. It should be in my moto pack, but you know, I'm like, ah, oh, it's summer, it's scorching, it's hot. But the one thing that I've learned out here is like, man, as soon as that sun cracks the surface, it uh, it starts to get chilly fast, especially down by my place, down by the uh, the coastal side. But hey, man. Kind of like when you're riding in the backyard, you'll just go without sometimes. I'll just do it. Whoa, look at all this. Just toe up. Yeah, you see me uh, extra hugging the right on the blinds because these kids come up here play in there in their Jeeps and they be sideways thinking they're Colin McRae in a Subaru. So I like to give them the benefit of the doubt and be up on my side tight. I am royally out of shape, man. I gotta get back on the bicycle. I was uh, starting to do that, and then uh, my wife and daughter, they started to making this uh, raised bed garden action. I get back out there, and I, I think I pedaled the day, pedaled that day. I unloaded a whole bunch of stuff in my garage and then started working with them on that and I like totally blew my back out and I was down for a week and a half and useless for two so finally getting back on it so I'm having to be uh, a little extra ginger can't can't get too aggro getting the old stuff sucks man I, mean, I just want to as long as I can stay out here and ride though I'm gonna do it to it oi 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 I could remember So, uh, so funny. Like, I got my Land Cruiser in 2008. I think I got my XR400 in 2006-ish. And I was, uh, finding all these spots back in the day. And you'd be out here and just, you'd see nobody. You'd see a couple little people, but... So that's all new, man. Look at that. It's just crazy. road no kidding so yeah I try to be uh, try to be a little nice when I come down here no wrapping out <laughs> look at all the traffic just me so I don't know where Uh, I think I did this last time. I rode around in here and was a beat lost.
you want to go that way over and out but I remember going over and this road took me all the way down and I had to come out oh yeah I think I had to come all the way out I swear all these roads weren't all these homes weren't back here back in the day and it was just you came out and a straight shot out to the road but now they put in all this neighborhood and I don't know nothing anymore probably gonna have to stop again and throw my Google Maps back out Thank you.